Throughout a celebrated career spanning seven decades, Robert de Cormier has championed the professional chorus as a voice for the people and an art form of the highest caliber. His colleagues include some of the great figures in the American folk movement, including Harry Belafonte, and Peter, Paul, and Mary. And in 1977, when the choral field came together to form the Association of Professional Vocal Ensembles, Robert de Cormier was there as a charter member. That organization today is none other than Chorus America. Robert's journey in choral music began in earnest when he was in a hospital during World War II, singing with the CIO Chorus. Later that year, he was accepted to Juilliard, where he studied choral conducting with Robert Shaw, along with classmates that included Alice Parker and Margaret Hillis. Then in 1957, Robert began working with the Belafonte Folk Singers. By the time his tenure concluded six years later, Robert had published dozens of arrangements and compositions, turned out nine records, and led the ensemble on hundreds of tour performances, winning an Emmy Award in the process. Robert founded his own professional ensemble in 1963, the de Cormier Singers, touring with American and world folk arrangements for another 25 years. During a time when many performance venues had not yet been integrated, the group's inclusion of both black and white singers was a progressive statement. At the age of 79, Robert wasn't done founding another professional choral ensemble, Counterpoint, in Vermont. And though he retired from conducting the group over five years ago, it didn't stop him from launching Counterpoint's Kickstarter program last year at 93 to record a tribute to Pete Seeger's music. Robert de Cormier is still writing his legacy and how lucky we are to witness the artistry and passion that still flows from a singular devotion to choral music. Chorus America is proud to present him with the 2016 Michael Korn Founders Award for development of the professional choral art.